Hey guys, it's Ava. What's up? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Wow, it's been a second since I did a sit down video um, and it feels really nice, I gotta say. I went into a little bit of uh, detail about why I haven't filmed in a while in my past video, which was a comp vlog. If you haven't seen that but right now you clicked on this video because you want to learn how to improve your improv so hello thank you for sharing part of your day with me um, I'm really excited to get into these seven new tips because I did do a video a while ago I think it was a year or two ago about how to improve your improv and I've changed a lot since then as a dancer as a person and I feel like um, I now I'm a little bit more educated on how to become the best version of yourself as a dancer especially uh, self-discovering through improv so i want to share some of those ideas that i have with you today and i'm very excited i have danced in an hour and you have more youtube videos to watch probably so let's just make this quick and i'll share these seven tips with you and yeah let's go ahead and get started oh before we get started i did want to say um i am doing zoom privates I've done a couple lately and I know some of you guys um, have asked before about like private lessons and my cat's trying to get into a bag. So um, what I was saying is some of you guys have been asking me if I do Zoom privates or like stuff like that. I've done a few. I've choreographed some solos over lessons. So if any of you guys are interested in that, you can send an email to me. I'll put my email right here or comment below. Um, that's super exciting. Yeah, I am 18 now. So I'm starting to get like jump into the industry and I've had a lot of opportunities lately that I am beyond grateful for. So I'm trying to continue on that path and keep working and making opportunities and jobs for myself and i hope you do as well believe in yourself guys it's the most powerful thing to do okay so anyway yeah back to the topic of this video let's get right into the seven ways to improve your improv so the first thing to do is to set your intention um your atmosphere is very important because everything's energy and we kind of reflect our atmosphere so if i'm in a messy space i'm gonna feel overwhelmed and sloppy make sure you're not gonna be interrupted while you're improving and make sure you're not gonna feel rushed make sure you don't have somewhere to be that's gonna distract you if you really want to dive down deep and uncover some of your artistry um, make sure you feel at peace and the area around you is clean also as far as setting your intention goes confidence is key honestly you can't think I'm gonna improv and I'm gonna suck you have to set your mentality that you are going to discover new ideas or that you're going to move in a certain way maybe today you want to move with confidence or maybe you want to move more internal today um, and isolate so whatever you want to do um, before you start trying to attempt that make sure you set your intention and one way you can do this is um, writing it down I have a little journal I bring with me to dance and I set my intention for the day and then at the end I do a reflection like I will say I want to have a nice rehearsal today where I remember all my dances and then stretch out afterwards and because I set that mentality I accomplished it and when I do my reflection it's just proof so that's a helpful tool in all areas of dance um, not only improv let's move on to tip number two which is a little bit more improv specific so tip number two is actually something that I live by now as a dancer I think so I was taking class from my friend Kyle Coleman I believe it was him that said this and um, I used to and still probably do a lot anticipate I rush as a dancer so one thing he told me was to try to react to the music and not anticipate because um, it looks better to be late and look like the music moved you than it is to move when there is no sound and look awkward so I literally live by that now so thank you Kyle if you're watching this I don't know if you watch my videos probably not that's cool. I definitely love that tip. Um, changed me as a dancer for sure. So that's really important. Listen to the music. Take the time to listen to the music. Let it instruct your body because improv really is just about connecting with your body, connecting with the music. And if you react to it rather than rush and anticipate, it will match the music a lot more. So tip number three is speed. This personally helps me a lot, especially if you're just starting improv, slow down, pick a slow song. Um, if you feel rushed and overwhelmed, just slow down. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. It's easier to start slow and like move like this or something like that than it is to like blah, blah, try to do everything at once. So um, if you're feeling overwhelmed or scared of improv, definitely start slow. 
tip number four is to try to dance to songs you're familiar with and songs you are not familiar with and notice how this changes your movement. Personally, and definitely for everyone else, I feel like it's more comfortable to dance to a song you know because you already know the beats, you know the tempo, you know when the big beat drop is gonna be, all that stuff. But if you challenge yourself by maybe playing a song you've never heard before and try to improv through to the end, um, that will speed up how you can react to music, how you hear music. Maybe you'll hear a new layer of the music because it's your first time hearing the song or something like that. That one's kind of obvious, but I feel like I still needed to share because it definitely does switch things up. Tip number five is focus. This also goes for all type of dancing, not just improv. Um, where your eyes are is so important while you are dancing. So if you can think about maybe leading with your eyes, um, where your focus is, who you're looking at, all that stuff. If you're alone, maybe focus internally, or if you're at an audition, um, it may seem uncomfortable, but you wanna try to make eye contact with the judges because um, connecting. Dance is all about connecting. So just remember how important your focus is with your improv. Also, taking the focus from maybe your eyes onto a certain part of your body. So you could start with the focus on your hands and work with that and keep the focus on that then change it to maybe your spine or your core or your kneecap, whatever you wanna do. Just think of how many parts of your body, you can even focus on your pinky and this will just create new pathways of movement. Cause for example, if I'm reaching like that is different than leading with my pinky. So that's gonna uncover um, tons of new pathways for you guys as a dancer if you really understand what I'm saying and apply that. Um, also, I'm in my, this is not like my best reach. I'm in my hanging chair. Okay guys, don't judge. <laughs> That was number five. Yeah. Six, conceptualize and visualize. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, you're like, what does this mean? Okay, so for example, if you think of a concept, I remember when I filmed these clips of my improv, uh, there was one clip where I was imagining that my hair was a plant and that it would not stop growing. And so, there was like a plant on my head essentially instead of my hair. And this may sound crazy to some of you guys, but if you're really a dance nerd and you're out there watching this video, you will understand how this can totally change your movement because literally if you visualize a plant growing from your head, um, it's gonna change the way you move. You're gonna move differently. You're gonna move with plant-like energy. So um, think of a concept, visualize it and apply it to your body. I will have a list in the caption also of concepts below because I love to come up with improv concepts. Concepts. It's like one of my favorite things to brainstorm. So you can do things like imagine your body is water Imagine you're taking your first breath of air you've ever taken in your life Imagine you are on fire. I don't know. Well, that would be like painful, but like, you know what I mean? Maybe you'll dance like you're in pain. I don't know guys. Honestly, if you are someone who's having a choreography block or like an inspiration block or you're just not feeling connected with your body, doing those types of improv exercises will literally unlock new movement and completely get rid of that. You know what I mean guys, just pretend there's a plant on your head and dance. Okay. <laughs> The last tip, number seven, is to get comfortable in your own skin. Now, um, me saying this is kind of hypocritical because I wouldn't say I'm comfortable in my own skin totally, but if you go into dance and you're like, ugh, I look disgusting today, I hate my outfit, and I'm tired, and I just don't feel like trying, your movement is gonna reflect that. So one thing I would say is make sure you're wearing something that makes you feel confident. Make sure you are talking to yourself nicely, you're saying nice things to yourself in your head. You have to tell yourself and believe it. I am gonna try my best. I am going to push myself today. I am going to love myself the way I am. Whatever you can tell yourself that will make you feel a little bit better about trying something new. Way to ruin in the moment. My cat's trying to get in my gift for my birthday. Essentially what I'm saying is try to love the body you were given. If all else fails, just put on your favorite song and jump around with no judgment at all. And there you go, you are improving. <laughs> So, 
those are all the tips I have. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you understand um, some of this. My brain kind of works in a weird way, so I hope that I got my points to you clearly. I was trying to. And let me know if any of these tips helped you or what your favorite one was, or if you have any tips, because I know a lot of really talented dancers follow my YouTube channel. Um, and I would love to hear your favorite improv tip or trick that you use to improve your freestyle so yeah and i guess that's all i have to say i probably have to get ready for dance because i have ballet in like a half an hour not as fun as improv <laughs> but yeah so i love you guys so much i'll see you in my next video bye Mwah.